<laughs> what a, well, poor birthday what a, boy. So it's how? Like it's the, it was the end of the party. It was the end. Could you actually like <laughs> avoid the event? Could you just play the game if you wanted to? No, the event's like its own special thing. So if you click into that, if you queue into it, you go there and nothing else. You can't do anything else. Uh, you can't leave oh, there. so you can avoid it. You can still play the base game. You have yeah, to. yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, yeah. it's a thing you queue into. Gotcha. Oh well, that's on you then. Uh, so on a spectrum of, so this is one extreme of weird and dumb. How about this one? China now limiting video game play to three hours a week for minors. Yeah, I saw yep. that. One hour per Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yep. Yeah. And it has to be at a specific time, too. I think it's like at 7 p.m. only or something. Interestingly enough, didn't South Korea just get rid of a law that uh, limited like South Korean minors playtimes? Well, South Korea and China are very different. Well, no, I, I know. I'm just saying, like, just across the, the small little stretch of uh, water separating China and South Korea, South Korea was doing the opposite. They removed that law, I'm pretty sure. So now now people can play an infinite amount of time over in South Korea, at least. So to any Chinese people listening, it's just a small boat ride to uh, video game heaven. But, uh, uh, Jackson, I, I have bad news for you. The thing is that if they uh -oh. want to get to South Korea, yeah, you could maybe get on that boat and maybe North find Korea. some water. Yeah, you have to go through North Korea and good luck. Go ahead and try. Maybe they love video games there. Maybe maybe you could just make a pit stop <laughs> and play video games in out. North Korea. Mm. Video game refugees. Is that going to happen? I don't know. It <laughs> says um, <laughs> that there's going to be specific hours, namely between 8 and 9 p.m. on those three weekend days. That's, they say, for an estimated 110 million miners who play video games in China. How the fuck are their servers going to deal with that? The entirety of the Chinese youth suddenly descending on your server for like that one hour that's like a ddos attack <laughs> they're probably already like already like actively using those servers to that degree already right no At but it would times. be spread throughout the day concentrating it all into one single one hour window that's gonna take a toll on them game companies have to start like easily... they have to start like power booting and getting ready for that hour to strike like a, it's like the sardines and SpongeBob coming in at lunchtime. The game. Oh yeah, like if Black there's Friday one thing, every week. <laughs> if there's one thing that video game history has taught us, it's that no video game developer can do it like online launch correctly. It's always servers offline for the yeah. first like week. Not so, in the um, not in the modern work. era. I was talking about that on stream not long ago. No games come out on launch day. You have to play them like a week or three days after launch day because they are just riddled with either updates that are huge or server errors. It, it, just the w platform and way games are now, it's almost impossible to play something when it comes out, especially it's if it's smooth. multiplayer. Unless it's like a single player. Yeah, if it's a well, single but, player. But even then, if it's single game. player, you get home and it goes install a 50 gigabyte update. Yeah. yeah, yeah, day one updates for sure. Yeah, but with online games, it's like completely different. Like I always go back to Anthem. Obviously, it was like the server issues that had made it so that you couldn't play within the first like twelve hours of its launch. Mm -hmm. So it was just such a hassle, and that's uh, so. Yeah, I, I think Kai is right that no one would be prepared for that kind of server load. No, I don't think so. So how are they going to enforce this? Just have everybody, every company will have to have what a the miners id stored on their servers i don't trust those idiots with well that their their internet is monitored i believe like just in general hopping on the internet in china is monitored from top to bottom isn't isn't like the identity of chinese citizens already tracked like to an insane degree yeah everything like everyone's got, yeah. yeah everyone already has like a social credit rating or whatever so i'm pretty sure it's it would be pretty easy for the chinese government to do that well, yeah, but what if you're an adult and you just, you know, what if you're a 17 year old boy and you just use your 20 year old brother's account, right? How are they going to enforce that or no? There's always I'm sure going to be just a lot of ways around this. There's always a way around. But it's I, like when you go to the porn site and you're 17 mm -hmm. and they're like, are you 18? And you click yes. Like They can't do anything. That's mm -hmm. it. You beat their security. 
What I'm curious about is if the youth in China will uh, take to the streets and protest this this law, or if they'll huh. just accept it. Do you think? That, do you think? Uh, so, so do you think? Yeah. Like, uh, protests are usually pretty effective in China. Yeah, in China, yeah. they're really fighting back against the government. They're doing.